hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to enable full accounting feature in odu 16 community edition so currently in the screen you are seeing odu 16 community edition which i have installed in my local machine and i'll be illustrating you about how to activate the full accounting feature so first of all what you have to do is that so we have to go to the settings and you have to enable the debug mode so i'll scroll down and i'll activate the developer mode in the database so i have already installed the accounting module of odoo so if i go to the apps menu you can see i have installed the module named invoicing of odoo so if i go to the module info you can see this is the invoicing module which is available by default in Odoo Community Edition and I have already installed in my database and if I go to the invoicing application so here we have the invoicing main menu and if I go to that application we have four menus mainly that is customers vendors reporting and configuration where we have this much options so mostly this will not be enough for the usage of accounting in community edition because we there is no option to see journal entries journal items etc so in order to see such features we have to enable the full accounting option so what i'll do is that i'll just duplicate this tab i'll keep it here and from here i'll go to settings we already have activated the developer mode and i'll navigate to user groups so you have to go to settings user and companies groups and search for full accounting here so i'll search for full accounting enter and here you can see we have a user group called show full accounting features so i'll click and open that and what i have to do is that i have to add all my users who needs access to accounting features to this user group i'll click on add a line and currently i have two internal users in my system that is mark demo and Mitchell admin I'll select both the peoples and add to this user group so I have added both to show full accounting features and what I'll do is that simply I'll refresh my page and if I go to the invoicing application still the changes are not reflected so I think I have to log out and log in so I'll just click on log out and I'll log in back to my system and if I come back to invoicing you can see we have got an extra menu called dashboard and reporting sorry dashboard and accounting which was initially not there so if you check the previous screen we were having only customers vendors reporting and configuration but after enabling the full accounting feature we have dashboard and extra accounting menu where we can access journal entries and journal items so this is how we can enable full accounting in odoo 16 community edition so even though we activated the full accounting feature actually we don't have the full accounting feature in community so that we may have to depend on third party modules available in the Odoo app store and you know for the last three versions like Odoo 15, Odoo 14 and Odoo 13 the Odoo Mates accounting module is the top downloaded module of accounting and the first number one downloaded module in the Odoo app store for the accounting so we have released our accounting module for version 16 also and in couple of days it will be available in the Odoo app store because only Two days before Odoo has released Odoo 16 and Odoo people are still busy with Odoo experience. So once it is finished, I hope they will add branch 16 in Odoo App Store so we can upload our modules into Odoo App Store. So once we publish this module, we will be adding the module link of our accounting in the video description section. So currently you can see we don't have financial reporting or we don't have budget management or we don't have asset management etc here so in order to get that you can use the Odoo Mates accounting module so if I go to the apps menu here we have the Odoo 16 accounting module of Odoo Mates so here you can see this is our module specially created for Odoo 16 which will bring financial reports asset management budget management accounting dashboard customer follow-up recurring payment daily reports and fiscal year closing so if you search for if i come back to apps and if i filter author or mates other 
contains Uru Mates. Click on apply and if I remove this apps filter, you can see these all are our accounting modules. Here you can see financial reports, fiscal year and lock, lock date, asset management, budget management, daily reports, recurring payment, bank statement import, customer follow-up management. So all these accounting modules will be coming under this single module. So if you just download this Odoo 16 from Odoo App Store and install, you will be getting all these accounting modules. So let's try to install this module and see what happens. So let me refresh the screen here. So we will be getting or we can understand what extra things is coming from Odoo Mates accounting module. So simply I'll click on activate. So it may take around few seconds to install all these modules in the database. So what I'm saying is once we upload Odoo 16 accounting module in Odoo App Store, we will be adding that link in the video description so you can just click on there and download this so the module has been successfully installed now if i come back to accounting earlier it was invoicing so the menu name itself we have renamed we have put accounting so we will come to accounting application we have the dashboard as it is initially and if you check the dashboard you will see import statement option that is we have added the bank statement import option and if you click on that you can import the bank statement in csv as well as in excel format and in the customers it's same and vendors also same we don't need make any changes and if you come to the accounting menu you will see a lot of extra menus initially if i go to the screen we were having only these two options but from our module you will be having all these option inside the community if you click on sales you will see all the sale details you can use filter grow by everything and in different format you can see your data and if you go to the next menu purchase you will have the purchase details with this option search panel you can filter the content and if you go to bank and cash you will see bank and cash and if you go to miscellaneous you will see the miscellaneous entries and if you further go down you will have the general ledger so if you click on that you will be getting the general ledger and here you can see you can filter you can grow by and you can see in graph and pivot view and if you need partner ledger you can see the partner ledger is listed here and if you need to see you can see we have further menus called analytic items budgets then what we have asset management and generate asset entries and this is for locking fiscal year once we close the previous year we can put the log dates for management and accounting period closing we can configure that in the database and here we have bank statements and cash registers which all coming from Uru Mates accounting module so if you go to the follow-up like if we have to receive some pending money from our customers we can send them follow-up mails so that they will make the payment so these are the follow-up options which is coming from Oru mates follow-up module so if you go to the reporting so initially in reporting we have only a single option called invoice analysis in community and if you check here after installing the Oru mates accounting module we have all these options like balance sheet you can print in pdf format profit and loss you have different filters like start date end date journals enable comparison target more everything you can filter and print the profit profit and loss and you have partner ledger so currently in the free version we have only got pdf format and if you need excel format or in screen view of these reports you can buy our paid module that is like an enhanced financial financial report so if you like or like or contribute us you can just purchase those modules which will bring the in-screen view as well as the excel format so this is partner ledger then we have aged partner balanced aged receivable aged pay payable general ledger trial balance tax report journal audit and you have daily reports which is day book cash book bank book and you have invoice analysis budget analysis and asset analysis so this is coming under the reporting section and if you go to the configuration also so if you check the initially we have only there is nothing to sc scroll only this much option available but once you install we have a lot of options available inside the configuration here you can see chart of account templates fiscal position templates recurring payment like if you need to 
create a recurring payment monthly you can configure recurring template and create recurring payments and for the follow-up we have follow-up levels like on this much day we have to send email like this thing you can configure here follow-up levels and what else we have account reports we have account reports then here you will see a lot of options under the settings analytic plans analytic account asset type budget reposition and what else account groups account tax tax groups journal group fiscal year fiscal position multi currencies chart of account everything you will see under the configuration and if you go to the settings you will see options like sales received sales credit limit which is coming by default in over 16 community edition we can enable the credit limit feature and if you further go down you will see the option like fiscal yeah fiscal period we can put the last day and configure the things here and anglo-saxon accounting is there and if you need to see the extra modules of Odoo mates you can just click on these buttons which will redirect to the Odoo apps and you can download these modules so this is the Odoo mates accounting module that makes the full accounting in Odoo 16 community edition so if you go to the apps menu Odoo 16 accounting of Odoo mates just download from the Udo app store add it to your Udo instance inst install and use full accounting in Udo 16 community edition so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you